Hello everyone and welcome. Today I wanted to start a new series uh, which I will name uh, The World of uh, My Favorite Writers. And today I'm going to start with Haruki Murakami, uh, which is a contemporary Japanese author. Uh, he is perhaps my favorite comfort, <laughs> comfort writer. Uh, and I just love his book so much for his free way of telling a story, his uh, magical realism and his simple yet very intriguing style of writing. I just adore Haruki Murakami uh, and all of his quirks. <laughs> uh, so I hope all of you will enjoy this new series where I talk about my favorite authors. So Haruki Murakami is a Japanese a writer born on January 12th in 1949 in Kyoto, Japan. He was raised in the cities of uh, Nishinomiya, Ashia and Kobe. His father, Shiaki Murakami, uh, was born in Kyoto in 1917 and he was the second son of a Buddhist priest and he fought in the Sino-Japanese War, the Second Sino-Japanese War, uh, which deeply traumatized him. And Haruki Murakami has uh, written a memoir called Abandoning a Cat, which I will link in the uh, description, where he talks about his father. Uh, his mother, Miyuki Murakami, was the daughter of an Osaka merchant. In his younger years, uh, when he wanted to study drama, he joined Waseda University in Tokyo, and here he met his wife, Yoko. Uh, before finishing his studies, he and his wife opened a coffee house and jazz bar named Peter Cat in Tokyo and uh, they run it together for seven years. Haruki Murakami began writing fiction at 29 years old and it was when he was watching a baseball game that he was struck by a sudden inspiration to start writing and uh, that was when he started writing his first novel, uh, Here the Wind Sing, which was published in 1979. Haruki Murakami worked on this novel for 10 months, his first novel, and after publishing the success of the first novel, encouraged him to continue writing, and a year later he published uh, Pinball 1973. And it was in 1985 he got wider recogni recognition with Hard Boiled Wonderland and The End of the World, and uh, especially after publishing Norwegian Wood in 1987 that he got, uh, definitely got a wider recognition among the world of literature. Haruki Murakami was also very influenced by Western culture and literature, and he grew up reading European and American writers, uh, which distinguished his work a bit from other Japanese writers. Uh, some of his influences are authors like uh, uh, Raymond Chandler and Kurt Vonnegut. Haruki Murakami has not only been writing uh, fiction, he has also written non-fiction, um, he has written books about his favorite subjects, such as running, uh, music, and things like that. But also uh, two events that happened in Japan, two main events uh, that has happened in the recent history of Japan, which are the uh, Kobe earthquake and the Om Shinrikyo gas attack. And those novels are called Underground and After the Quake, uh, which are books you perhaps could check out if you want to learn a bit more about those events. And when you start reading Haruki Murakami, you will quickly notice uh, some themes that appear in pretty much every novel. Uh, Haruki Murakami really loves music and he has said in interviews that he listens to music, perhaps not while writing, but to get inspiration on his uh, books, he listens to music. Uh, and then especially jazz and classical music. But he, he likes all kinds of music, as you will see in his works where he lists uh, a lot of songs. So uh, actually, when I'm reading Haruki Murakami, I like to uh, go to Spotify and find a playlist that's in, that includes all of the songs that are listed in the books, so you can get uh, <laughs> some nice playlists while also reading his works. And his type of music is very good. I really enjoy his uh, taste, definitely. And when you are reading Haruki Murakami, you will also notice that uh, other things appear like cats. In pretty much every novel, there is a cat in some way or another. And he has said also in an interview that he loves cats, but he doesn't own any himself, which uh, I find a bit strange, but 
uh, he definitely is a lover of cats, that's for sure. And uh, he has also talked about that uh, when he starts writing, he doesn't really know where the story will go. He gets uh, an idea and he just starts writing and uh, then he will see how things turn out, which is something I re really like with his works because uh, the story definitely takes strange turns uh, usually. Uh, and it's a very freeing way to write a novel as well. And it really brings out the most of the creativity of the writer when you start from nothing uh, or perhaps a simple idea or thought and then you involve this idea and bring it to life and create and craft an intriguing story out of just a few thoughts. Uh, I really like that about Haruki Murakami. But Haruki Murakami is also a very private person. He doesn't really enjoy public events and media. Um, as you can probably see in most of his interviews and especially when he speaks in English, he's um, not very comfortable. Although he's also a translator, uh, he's not that comfortable to talk in interviews and things like that and he would rather spend his time alone uh, and he has also shared his uh, daily routine which is very cool uh, i really like hearing about how authors spend their time and uh, he describes his routine as he uh, wake, wakes up at 4 a.m he writes for five to six hours uh, then he goes for a run or a swim and um, he reads some listens to music and then he goes to bed at 9 p.m which is um, pretty much a perfect <laughs> routine to have when you are an author. You get the you get the mental clarity from running and swimming, you get some inspiration from reading and also from the music, as he said. Uh, but Haruk Murakami is definitely a lover of um, literature and music, and you can tell by reading his works that that is the case. And Murakami actually started running at the age of 33, and he's a marathon runner which is very impressive and he has shared his uh, philosophy and ideas of running when, in his uh, book what I talk about when I talk about running uh, which I can also recommend if you want to get, uh, get to know Haruki Murakami a bit more. So the question is where do you start with Haruki Murakami? He has written 14 novels so far, 14 fiction novels and his latest novel Killing Commandator was published in uh, 2017, translated in 2018. But uh, this novel was definitely not my starting point. Uh, my starting point was the novel After Dark, which was published in 2004, translated 2007. After Dark is um, perhaps not the best starting point. It incorporates some split narrative, some supernatural elements, but his magical realism and his uh, uh, fantastic atmosphere of loneliness and uh, mystery and mystique is uh, definitely um, so integrated in this novel. So for me it was a good starting point. I don't know if everyone will think it's a good starting point but I can recommend After Dark as the starting point to getting into Haruki Murakami. Otherwise you have novels uh, like a Norwegian wood, which, which is definitely a good starting point. Or his later work, Colorless uh, Tsukuru Tasaki and his Years of Pilgrimage, which also captures uh, the Murakami atmosphere perfectly. And if you enjoy After Dark or Colorless Tsukuru or A Norwegian wood, then you will perhaps, I think, enjoy 99% of his works or 90%. Uh, there will always be novels that you might find less enjoyable, but that's the same with all authors. We can't love every single piece that they write. But uh, Haruki Murakami is definitely um, an author that I can get a bit tired with if I read too much of his works uh, on a row. Although he is uh, one of my, or perhaps my favorite contemporary author, if I read a uh, one, two or three books in a row by him, I do get a bit uh, of the Murakami burnout <laughs> because he incorporates so many of the same themes and elements in each of his novels, like uh, 
by Cats Music, uh, Disappearing Women, um, Supernatural supernatural Elements, and um, so you can get a Murakami burnout if you're reading too much of his work, so space out his uh, novels and I'm sure you will get uh, pretty addicted to his writing, uh, just like I am. So I am uh, collecting um, these paperbacks from Vintage, I have uh, a few of them. I do not own all of Haruki Murakami's books yet, but I want to get all of them. Although I would prefer to have them all in hard covers. Uh, right now I only have uh, Killing Commandador in hardcover, which has a glued binding sadly, but I also have this Fully Society edition of Kafka on Shore, uh, which is uh, such a lovely edition. I have a video of this book as well on my channel, so if you want to check that out, then you can do so. But this was the world of Haruki Murakami, his works, his uh, life and uh, some of my recommendations and starting points. I have added sources to everything I've said in the description, so I, have, I will have some links you can check out in the description. Otherwise, I hope uh, you have enjoyed this uh, little video. If you want to see more videos like this, then please leave a comment and tell me. Uh, I would be very happy to share more authors that I enjoy uh, with all of you. So perhaps some of you can get inspired and check out these authors as well. But that was pretty much it. I want to thank my patrons and my YouTube members for supporting me. I want to th thank uh, Shane Sherbert for his support as a Bibliophile team member here on YouTube. If you want to become a member, then I would be greatly uh, so thankful for your support. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and all the best.